Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will try to create a post. We will try to create a post form. We will design a post form and we will try to submit the post, uh, submit the post into the database using the Redux tank. Now let's try to create the create post form. So here I am going. So here we will be having that one. So one second, one, div I will be opening and here I will be having one form. In this form, we will be having one input. So one label title and for the title we will be having the div so that input type is equal to text and the class name we, as we are using the what I can say tailwind CSS we can have border we need to mention the border border hyphen gray hyphen 500 let's try to keep it like this let's see the output how it will look like afterwards while create afterwards creating the text area so here this is the description so this is the description and I can change it to text area sorry text area and we can remove this one all yeah so now we are having like this and I can have another one finally button type is equal to submit this is the button so what I can do so create post I will add create post okay so while adding the create post what I can do here we will add a class name so class name is equal to uh, px-2 py-1 bg-red-500 hyphen hyphen text-y hyphen whatever the thing we want we can give it so design is not our priority so now the form looks like this one so the text area and the input box is somewhat looking weird so we will try to increase the and here I can do something like w hyphen full so that it will take the entire screen entire width it will take sorry so here also I am keeping so now if I try to see it's fine right so somewhat it is looking fine so let's try to add some if I am, if I am adding anything so it is coming somewhat weird so what I can do so inside this one I can write something like px hyphen 1 and here also I can write px hyphen 1 okay we can mention the height also height hyphen something like uh, 28 or something like this so let's try to see the output how it will look like yeah fine right so somewhat it's okay so what i can do here so let's try to give some class name is equal to mt hyphen 2 okay or otherwise my hyphen 2 so the top and bottom it will do here yeah it's somewhat now so now i am giving the title and the description when i am trying to give the title and the description we need to submit it in the backend through the redux thunk so now what i will try to do here we are having so let us create with the capital okay so now here i can give constant title set title oh sorry set title is equal to use state of empty first time it will be empty so next one will be description so let's create a description state also description so here I will be, we'll be having description, so fine right, so two state variables, I am creating the two state variables and here I can come to the input and here I can add the value, control components, these are, you need to remember, so here I can write title and here on change I can do, on change is equal to, so this one will be something like, I can add set title title of e dot target dot value so we'll be having the e dot target dot value and where we will be getting that target so here this e will be having this one as a parameter the same thing we can repeat it here automatically as a control components so here i can go description these are all things we have already discussed in our previous videos so that is the reason i am not explaining you anything so we are going on directly writing the code set description of e dot target dot value so now we have set the so whatever the data we are changing here so it will be storing it will be storing in the respective title and the description variable so now state data so now what i will try to do here i will create a on submit okay on submit is equal to so on create form okay on create post i can add something like on create post so let's try to create a function here at the top 
So on create post, how it will look like? So here I will be creating function on create post. You will be having the e, e as a synthetic event. So now e dot prevent default. Okay. So now here we need to dispatch an action. So that is nothing but dispatching. We can use in another thing uh, instead of using this connect wrapping the function using higher order connect thing. We can also use something like constant dispatch is equal to we will be having a hook for this one use dispatch. So this should be imported from the react redux use dispatch. And now here what I can do. So let's frame the data constant post data is equal to we will be having title and also description. So I am taking the title sorry description. Okay. So this is the post data. Now let's go to the post actions. So the here here is our post actions right. In this post action, I will be calling this create post action. Okay. So I will be calling this create post action. So instead of having this create post action, so whoever calls this action, so we will be having <coughs> uh, what I can say here we will be having return uh, dispatch. So here we will be returning the dispatch and we need to call create post. Okay. So create post we don't have. So let's go to the services. And uh, what we can say post service, I can write something like export function create post. So let's take the post data here. Okay, so post data it will take, and the same thing what I will try to do is I will try to write here, and this one will be the post action. And here let's try to send the post data. Okay, so that's it. So we have created a service create post. So now let's go to the post action here. I will be using this create post. So now this one will be imported from the here from the services create post off. So here you will be having post data. So we need to send that post data and let's send this post data. Okay. So when it is submitted, when we get the promise response, so just we will try to console.log response.data. That's it, right? So now we have dispatched an act. So we have created a post action. Now let's try to call it here uh, dispatch post data we are having. So now we can use dispatch action and you can call create post action. Okay. So we need to send the data. So what is the data we need to send here? Post data. This is the post data, right? So we will be sending this post data. That's it. So now let's try to take this one create post action. Yeah, that's it. So now after dispatching this action, what we need to do, we can move something like props dot history history dot what is that one uh, props dot history dot push to slash post. So we can we can after completing this one, we can push it. Now if you try to see the output, so now if I try to refresh this one, it will work. Not a problem. So I am trying to create a title description. Sorry, hello world. I will try to create hello world or something like this. Okay. So now here I am trying to create hello world and I will try to create a post. If I am trying, if I create a post, it went to here, but here I am able to see only DASD something like this one only. I am not able to see the hello world. When I try to refresh this page, let's try to see. When I try to refresh this page, now I am able to get this hello world. See. So what is happening here? What is happening is so here we got something wrong. So oh, description value description. Yeah, we are trying to set correctly only. Let's try to see. Yeah. So now what is happening here? So we are dispatching an action. So without waiting for the success, we are we are going to the we are pushing back to the old page. So what we can do here is so let's push this props dot history. Okay. So to that place. And so that post in the post actions, you will be getting another parameter, nothing but the let's think that it is an history. So when this one is completed, you can do history, sorry, history dot push, history dot push of slash post. So here after getting success only, I am pushing this one. So now if you try to see the output, let's see how it will look like. So I am refreshing the page up to now here, no problem. Now here I am creating. So Hi Leela. So hi Leela. I am creating. So now if I try to create a post, so it will create a post and it will go away. See, hi Leela. I am able to see, but I don't know why this uh, description is not coming. So let's try to see whether we are trying to submit the description or not. 
so post data we are able to get so let's try to see here the post data title and description we are having set description we are having this one like this so here in the text area value is equal to description we are populating and on change we are writing oh for the button we have written the on change see so our, my mistake this one so we need to write for the text area right so i think hope this one is correct let's try to submit it again for the final time so this is the final time so it will work i hope okay so this is the post i am creating let's create the post perfect so we have created the title and the description both are coming working fine so this is how we will be using the using the redux thunk so we were posting the creating the post so in this way we will be getting the post and also create the post so for example if you see we are able to see one one improvement we can make it so if you, if you try to see the code if you try to justify uh, you, will, you will be able to observe that we are using the redux library right so we can do we can do some improvements also for example i am creating a post here i am not making any calls but i know that the posts are already i called it from the database and i ha and i have it in my store but now when i am trying to create it again one store okay so here okay fine so post action we can make it but after moving after going back to the post page i already have the data with me but still i am making and unnecessarily getting all the posts again so if it is better that i already have the posts in my thing in my in my store so just after creating the post just append that uh, store append that uh, post into the store means so that there is no need to call for us the again the post thing post json right so let's try to do that refactoring in the next video i hope that you understood about this redux thunk library how to use this redux thunk library for making the post request creating post also and also after submitting that one so redirecting to the home page also we have seen redirecting to the post dashboard page also we have seen so this is how we will be making the uh, create a create a, create post thing okay if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you